Asus is back with a brand new dual screen laptop and it's the world's first 14 inch dual OLED display Zenbook Duo and I got to have some hands on time with it before I have a full review and here's everything that you need to know. The Zenbook Duo UX 8406 for those who need to know is a very capable versatile laptop with two 3K 120Hz OLED 16x10 displays that can be easily transformed to become what you need it to be. It's designed to be the ultimate productivity laptop setup that you can take up anywhere with you. It weighs just around 1.35 kilograms and it has a 180 degree lay flat to hinge meaning you can increase your screen real estate to up to 19.8 inches. You can take this anywhere you want and set it up anyhow you want wherever you are. It can be configured vertically and horizontally allowing you to use it in laptop mode, dual screen desktop mode and two individual displays or screens for collaboration. So you can be using the one side and someone else can be using the other side at the same time. One of the displays can be used as a keyboard as well, but if you prefer a physical keyboard, it has a rechargeable Bluetooth keyboard that can be easily attached to thanks to that pogo pin connector that makes it easy to dock. More on the design, it has a built-in kickstand that's also rigid, but yet it's still very easy to pull in and out whenever you need it to uh, do so. As for input and output ports, the Zenbook Joy 2024 comprises two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a USB 3.2 J1 Type-A port, an HDMI 2.1 port, and a convenient 3.5 mil audio jack that doubles up as a mic as well, all crammed into its 14.6 millimeter thin chassis, which is incredible. There's also an Armand Kardon certified audio system with Dolby Atmos certification for immersive multidimensional spatial sound. The Asus Lumina OLED displays offer 500 nits peak brightness. They are Dolby Vision certified, Pantone validated, and have a cinema grade 100% DCI-P3 color gamut to ensure vivid, accurate color rendering. They are also Visa Display HDR, True Black 500 certified for the deepest black levels you can think of. There's also an option for a lower 60 hertz display, so if you wanna dumber it down, you can do that as well. The touchscreen also supports high precision stylus inputs using that optional 4090s pressure level ASUS pen. And you have a built-in screen expert software that enables smartphone like more to touch gesture, which supports for intuitive operation. So you'll be able to do things like launch your virtual keyboard, maximize a window, move things around, and so much more just using multiple finger gestures and so on. As the processor power is powered by the latest generation of Intel processors. This means you can get up to the all new Core Ultra 9H series combined with up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM and up to a two terabyte PCIe 4 SSD and Intel Arc for graphics. It's also a redesigned 75 watt hour high capacity battery that's been redesigned so it can support up to 20% more charge cycle compared to the predecessor. As an Intel Evo Edition laptop, Zenbook Duo wakes instantly, charges fast, and delivers that all day battery life that anyone getting this would expect. With Intel Core Ultra processor, it features Intel's first integrated MPU, so neural processing unit, meaning next level immersive graphics and high performance, low power processing so you can work, game, and create without worrying about the battery life. It also helps shift workload from the CPU and provides a power efficient AI acceleration for AI enabled applications. Overall first impression, this is set to be a versatile laptop that's gonna be very functional for those that need to do many things on the go. Maybe like people that do stocks and shares and stuff like that, they might wanna see two things at the same time. Those that wanna collaborate, you might wanna show your boss, for example, what you're working on whilst you're working on it at the same time. That kind of stuff for collaboration would be really useful. Uh, this laptop would be really useful for that. Battery life is great as well, it's sleekly designed, I love the way they've designed the, the keyboard to be able to still slot in between the clamshell without adding too much bulk to the overall real estate of the laptop, which is fantastic. If I have any initial issues with it, it would be that there's a bit of a wobble when you have it uh, horizontally or is it horizontally vertical, whatever. But when you have it standing up, you get that wobble on the top lid, which can be annoying at times, depending on what you're doing. I also find that when you've got the screen side by side, what you have is the screens are kind of layered on top of each other with the way the inch is designed to allow for the keyboard to still be able to slide in between without looking like something else. It still looks like a laptop, basically. But because of that reason, depending on which angle you're viewing at, you'll be able to see that layered screen on top of each other, which I hope the next generation of this laptop will be able to make them sit flush so that way you won't be able to see that level of layering in there. But overall though, I really like this. I think it looks fantastic. I'll leave all pricing in the description uh, on the screen. I don't say it in the video just in case it changes uh, before it's officially launched, but yeah. Um, I hope you guys are subscribed because we're going to get this in, we're going to have it in. Uh, in fact, we might have it in by the time you guys see this video, so we're going to be doing a review of that, uh, of the Zenbook Duo. So let me know what you think and anything that you want to see. In the meantime, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.